Thanks for watching. And today we will solve the transport equation, which is a simple PDE with an important physical significance. Namely, the transport equation is ut plus cux equals zero. And what it represents, it represents the density of a particle as it is transported to the right at speed c. In other words, if you start with the blob and that blob moves to the right at speed c, then the resulting density is precisely u of xt, where x is the position and t is the time. Now, the cool thing is we already know everything we need to know to solve this, because notice it is a constant coefficient first order PDE, and I would like to remind you how to solve those PDEs. So recall, so the general solution of AUX plus BUY equals zero is simply, so U of XY is any function of the cross term, so AY, or the outer terms, minus BX, which are the inner terms, where again, F is arbitrary. And well, notice, this equation is of the same form, where A in this case is one, and B is C. So in this case, to solve this PDE, you simply have U of XT is F of, so once again, one times X, one times X, and then minus BY, so C times T. C times T, which now we'll just clean up. So in this case, once again, to solve UT plus CUX equals zero, we now get U of XT is F of X minus C. Now, it turns out for this equation, there is a special significance of F. So significance of F because if you plug in t equals zero in this equation, then on the one hand, you get u of x comma zero, which is the initial condition. On the other hand, f of x minus c times zero, which is f of x. So what is this function f? It is precisely the initial condition of our transport equation, which it does not always happen, but it's very special to hear. And so in particular, what is this equation saying? It's quite interesting. You start with the initial condition f, f of x. And then geometrically, what is happening? Well, if you do f minus f of x minus ct, it just shifts it to the right by ct units. So if you shift f to the right by ct units, you get precisely r density u of xt. And this is really what is meant by shift to the right at speed c. Because for instance, if the speed is three miles per hour and we wait two hours, we expect it to be shifted by six um, miles. And so in particular, this is the transport equation. And again, I wanna emphasize just how natural it is. So naturally we expect to shift the initial condition at the speed C and our equation tells us precisely that. How cool is that? All right, if you wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.